Thomas chuffed along the branch line, thinking about his new friend, Jack. I hope he's doing better today, puffed Thomas. Yesterday, Jack had broken the rules and had gotten into trouble. The pack was widening the road beneath the old quarry bridge. Jack and Alfie were loading Max. Dust and dirt flew everywhere. Work had never been so much fun. Jack felt very proud. He'd worked hard, been very good, and followed all the rules. But he was still worried Miss Jenny wouldn't let him stay. Ned the steam shovel was cheerfully clearing rocks. Ned has a big bucket and a big heart. Sometimes his bucket is too full. Careful, bumble bucket. Sorry, said Ned cheerfully. Thomas couldn't wait to get to the old bridge. He knew the pack were working there. He could see how Jack was doing. Back at the site, the foreman shouted, Oliver, this topsoil needs moving, now! I'll move it, cried Jack. Jack! Before anyone could stop him, Jack raced under the bridge. He was about to fill his bucket when he remembered Miss Jenny's warning. Don't jump in where you don't belong. Oliver, he said. This is your job, not mine. Thank you, Oliver said politely. Well done, Jack, called Kelly. Yes, well done, chimed Alfie and Isabella. Jack beamed proudly. Later, Ned was moving under the bridge. His banksman had told him to lower his crane arm. 